G'day golfers, this is Glenn Haynes with Aussie Golf Pros and I'm really excited about today because this is my favourite part of the game, putting. And you are going to learn how to read greens like a pro. Let's hop to it. And this is where you start reading the green from, down the fairway. You really need to start reading the green from here. I'm about 60 metres out and if you're on a golf course that you haven't seen before, then you really need to know where the water is going to run off. Every green has to be built with water runoff, otherwise you'll get puddles. And from here you can clearly see that the water is going to run off the left hand side of this green. Okay, we've established that the water is going to run off the left hand side of the green. I've knocked the ball past the pin here, so that means that gravity rules, so the ball has to break in that direction. Don't question yourself, most greens just have one overall gradient to them. Sure, there are some greens out there that have two or three, but they're easy to pick. And once you get that overall gradient, then don't underestimate the power of that, that slope. Because the little humps and swallows in between that, they're easy to see. You've got to make absolutely sure that you know where that water's running off and realize that that is gonna be the overall gradient of the green. Water goes that way, so the golf ball has to go that way as well. Now this is the really key piece that a lot of people forget, is that speed, the power that we put into the putt, is more important than the line. Convince yourself of that. It's all about speed. The line is secondary. So where does everyone go to read putts? Behind the ball. Well, that's crazy. As I just said, Speed is more important. So instead of coming here and squatting down and having a look at the putt there, I want you to come over this side. Have a quick look from the side. I'm not saying study it and take forever. A quick look from the side. And obviously as you're walking up, you could do it then. Remember, speed is more important. So let's read the speed. I want to get an overall picture of how long the putt is, whether it's uphill or downhill, and any humps and swales I'm going over. And I guarantee you, you're going to see a lot from the side here. You're going to get a more robust 3D image of the putt that's going to help your subconscious get an idea of the speed of the putt, rather than have to actually think about it consciously. Now, bear in mind I've come to the low side. That's where the water's running off, so I'll always read the putt from the low side. I'll see more from this side than I will from the high side. So remember, we've established that this putt is a left-right putt because the water's running off down here. So I'm coming to the low side, now I'm getting an idea of the speed and how much break there is. Now I will have a quick look. So that's the first read I'll do from side on, get an idea of the speed. Because you need to know how hard you're going to hit a putt before you can work out how far it's going to break. Now I'll have a quick look from here. As you might have seen from one of my previous videos, I'm not into lining the line up on the ball. I think it distracts from the feel of the putt and from the speed of the putt. I know it's going that way. I've got an idea of the speed, it's fairly quick. So one practice stroke, get an idea of the speed. And I'm gonna aim this off about 18 inches left of the hole. Nearly. Speed was a little on the soft side, I like to go that 17 inches past. But you can see how I pretty much read that putt from 60 metres up the fairway. I know it's going this way because the water's running off this way. Gravity rules. Don't underestimate that overall gradient of a putt. And if you can have a look from side on, you're going to get that 3D image. You're going to have more of an idea of how much it's going to break and what the speed's like. Remember, you've got to read the speed first before you know how much it's going to break. That was a fairly quick putt. It was slightly downhill, which I read from side on so I know it's going to break a little bit more. Uphill putts, you have to hit firmer, so they're not going to break as much. Downhill putts, you're going to hit more softly, so the ball is trickling along slowly, so that means that gravity is going to have a greater effect on the amount of breaks, so it's going to break more. Now bear in mind that I don't want you to take ages reading greens. You don't need to. A quick look from the side, a quick look from behind the ball is all you need after you get an overall idea of the slope of the green. And that's the important key aspect here. Now, if you're on new greens on new courses, you're gonna get fooled sometimes, but keep looking for where that water's gonna run off. That's going to be your primary 
uh, base that you're going to start to read greens from. Where's the water going? But if you're on your home greens, then you have absolutely no excuse. You should know the overall slope of all of your greens. And this is how you do it. You get a few golf balls and you get to the top half of the green. We've worked out that the water's running off down that way. So I'm going to get over here up the top side and I'm going to roll some golf balls around the green here just to get an idea of where that water is going to run off. And then we start to see what this green's actually going to do. And you can see the ball's feeding in. So the water runoff is just there. That's the low point of the green just there. And once you know that, you've pretty much read almost every putt on the green. Because it's got to go that way. So that means that basically I want you to visualize a line running through the middle of the green here. From the top section of the green down to the bottom section of the green. As I said, most greens just have the single tilt. Let's talk about the multiple tilts in a moment, but just on a single tilt green like this one is, I want you to actually draw that line either in your mind or on a, on a piece of paper or in a notepad and get an idea of the overall slope. So that means that everything this side of the line has to break right. Gravity rules, can't do anything else. Everything that side of the line has got to break to the left. Visualize the golf balls feeding into that funnel, because that's what water does. Anything there is feeding in, it's funneling in this way, and everything this side is funneling in to the right. And I want you to focus on the downhill putts first. Get an idea of what those downhill putts are gonna do. Funneling in like water will, into that low point of the green. So most greens have an overall tilt, just a single tilt to them. But you do have some greens, like the eighth here at Monash Country Club, that has two or three different tilts to it. So most of the water on this green runs off down towards you, down to the front of the green. But we do have a couple of subtle tilts going from there. And it's a good idea to come out and just roll a few balls around downhill, just to see where they are. So if I roll the golf ball down towards the front of the green there, we can see that it's starting to drift this way. So we see a tilt going in this direction. Might roll another one down there. So on my chart, just like this, just an image of the green, you can just download it off of Google Earth. Then you just draw a line, diagonal line, down the front of the green there. If I come back a little bit further, another section of the green, Again, we see it's tilting maybe even further. So it's going across the green more there. Roll another one down the hill. And then so across the middle of the green here, I will put a line more across the green. And then up the top section here, we might have a, a different tilt again. So we're really getting a, a cross section here. We know that the water's running off down the front of the green. We also know that the water's running off to the side of the green here. There's a little shallow bowl there that the water's running off. Let's roll another ball down the middle of the green here. Again, heading that way. And if I just go across this way, and we can see that there's another little water runoff down here. So the chart is gonna look something like this. So we see we've got it more towards the front of the green, down the front third there. In the middle, it really goes across, and then a diagonal line up the top back corner of the green. So, even though this green is more complicated and it's got a couple of humps and swales in it, which are easy to see and tend to be towards the edges of the green anyway, then most of your parts are going to be easy to read once you get an idea of these tilts. So, okay, this green's a bit more complicated and it has three tilts to it, but they're all very similar. And you know, after you've just rolled a couple of balls around, you really do get to understand the green a lot better and it makes it a lot easier for you to read speed and line of putts. This is another single tilt green, the ninth at Monash. So the water runoff and the tilt goes down to this bottom right hand corner of the green here. And it's quite a steep green. So anything putting across that zero line, remember we've drawn that line through the green, any putt that's going across that is gonna break a lot. Any putt that's quite near the zero line, so if I'm putting from here down the hill, it's not going to break too much. And if I'm putting straight up the hill, it's not going to break much either. 
But once we go across that line, that's when we're gonna see putts really break a lot. And that's where a lot of club golfers come unstuck because they underestimate gravity and they underestimate how much a putt can swing. And we need to visualize what the ball's gonna do before we hit it. If golfers do visualize putts, generally they're visualizing the ball just going in the front of the hole, but a lot of golfers don't visualize the putt at all. And if we're going across that slope, that means we need to visualize the ball really curving in, funneling down, and actually going in the side of the hole. This is where we want the ball to enter the hole on these big breaking putts. So, as I said before, let's read it from the low side, which is here. Got around 10 feet. I'm going across that slope, so I know it's gonna break a lot. I generally just have one practice stroke, just rehearsing the speed. And going in that top side of the hole, visualizing the putt before you hit it, not afterwards. Remember, 85 to 90% of putts miss on the low side, just because we're not visualizing it enough, not visualizing the hole break, and not visualizing the ball coming side in at the hole. Thank you so much for watching. So yes, there is a lot to reading greens, and there's no doubt that the more experience you have, the easier it's going to be, and the more you can pick up on those subtle differences in greens, and the more you can see where that water's gonna run off. But the fact is here that most pros actually memorize putts and memorize how greens are gonna break. They don't necessarily read them just by looking at them. It's very easy to get fooled and pros get fooled all the time. So don't be hard on yourself if you make a mistake. It's all about learning, of course, but preparation is key here. If you really want to putt better on your greens, then put a little bit of time in and map them out. Get onto Google Earth, download those pictures of each of your greens and start to put some simple lines through. I don't want you to map out every little slope and every little hump on the green. That's against the grain here of what we're trying to achieve. I want you to just get an idea of the overall tilts that are in these greens and use those as a really good base. And you're actually, your green reading is gonna get quicker out in the golf course because you're gonna have that base to work with. Trust your preparation rather than trying to see everything out in the greens and you will putt better and your speed will improve as well. So you're preparing, you're getting an, an idea of those greens before you putt on them, if it's your own course or if you have time to prepare for a golf course for your elite amateurs, you know, going out and, and having a practice round, this is what you need to do. Uh, you need to read putts from side on and you really need to visualize what the ball's going to do, especially on those big breaking putts getting the ball to come in the top side. We really hope you've enjoyed this complete guide to green reading, and we'll be back next week with another way to help you improve your golf. Are you the best golfer you can be?